Hi students, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do tab stops and all the importance of tab stops. Before you start, make sure that your ruler has been activated by clicking on view and set the ruler. Okay, it's important that you do that so that you can see your tab stops that you have inserted. Now these ones I have set up previously and I want you to notice the difference between them. Here I have a tab stop that looks like this one. This is a centered tab stop. This one is a right aligned tab stop. And this one is also a right aligned tab stop. And if I click on any space on my, on my, on my ruler, I will set a tab stop automatically at that spot. And this particular tab stop is a left aligned tab stop so if i hover my mouse over it it will show me what it is so this one is center tab this one is a right tab and the last one is a left tab all right i'm going to take these tabs from my ruler i'm gonna take them away and to take tabs away that you've set you just click on the tab and then you just move it move it away from the ruler all right it will disappear click move click holding your mouse and move all right so now my tab stops are gone but there's a better there's actually a better spot that i can or a different function that i can use to set up tab stops now let me first give you an example what if i want to type three things on this on this page without using columns without using a table i just want to type three things on this page and i want them to be in the same line and i want to use the tab key on my keyboard now say for example here i have the word campus one now i want to use the tab key so that my cursor can jump and then i want to type campus to tab campus campus three all right that works but the space there's not enough space in between the words for me so what i can do is i'm going to set up tab stops the first word campus one good that's fine but i want to set the next tab stop at seven and then i want to set another tab stop at 12. All right, so how would I do that? First of all, I'm gonna use the home tab and I'm gonna go to the paragraph group and I'm gonna go into the group launcher. At the bottom of the group launcher or the paragraph dialog box, I have tab, the tab key option. If I click on it, now I can set tab stops, not I can physically click on 7 and click on 12. The tabs will, will, will happen. For example, there's, if I click on 7, there's a tab stop. If I click on 12, there's a tab stop and both of them are left tabs. But I, I don't have to do it like that, even though that's actually the probably the easiest way. But I get so much more functions if I use the, the actual tab option of paragraphs. So yeah. Under my tab stop position, I can set up the tab stops. I want a tab stop at seven centimeters, set, and I want another tab stop at 12 centimeters, set. However, I want the seven centimeter tab stop to be centered and aligned, and I want the 12 centimeter tab stop to be right aligned let's go and look what is the difference between them click ok so if here they are a seven step stop and it's left aligned and here is 12 step stop which is which is right aligned but i remember setting number seven for center aligned so why isn't it centered aligned let's go back seven centered set I didn't set them 
So number 12, right aligned, sit. Let's go and check number seven again. Now it's centered. All right, if I click on OK, it's now a centered tab. So now if I use the tab key on my keyboard, my cursor is going to jump to the seven centimeter position. Tab stop. And if I type the word campus to, it is going to be centered aligned. If I press the tab key, it's going to jump to the 12 centimeter position. And if I type the word campus 3, it's going to be right aligned. The difference between them, and as you can slightly look at it, this one was typed from left to right. I'll show you. This one was typed centered. As you can see, it is actually centered right in the middle of the tab stop. And this one is right aligned. In other words, it was it was typed from, from right to left. And as you can see, it's from it's right of the tab stop. That's the difference. This one is left of the margin or tab stop. This one is centered of the tab stop and this one is right aligned from the tab stop. That is the difference. So tab stops is useful tools especially if you want to type things in one line but you don't want it to interfere. It's probably sometimes important to use the same tab stop for a particular document, but sometimes if you need to, you can change the actual tab stop alignment. I particularly like to use tab stops when I type dates. So I'm just going to take these tab stops away. I'm not going to do it the manual way like I did earlier. I'm going to actually do the tab function option which is, I can just specify clear or clear all. All right, once they are cleared, I can set up my own tab stops. I like to use them, I like to use tab stops when I type addresses. So 10 centimeters, I usually set my addresses to 10 centimeters and then I click on set. I use left align, set, and then I click okay. So there you can see the 10 centimeter tab stop has been set. So what I then do is I press tab on my keyboard, my cursor jumps to that position and then I can type the address, for example, number 18 Foss Street, enter, tab, um, let's say tab down, enter, tab, 8,000. That's a nice way to set up tab stops for, for dates. I can then continue typing my letter. And if I need to do anything that requires me to use a table or columns, I also have the option to use tab stops instead. So if I use, for example, tabs, if I clear this tab, well, I can actually just add new ones so I can set this one for five centimeter and I'm going to use left for all of them set and another one for eight centimeters set and another one for 13 centimeters set these are just random numbers that I'm now using click OK then I can say yeah uh, um, um, package package tab date tab um, delivered package one tab date twelve zero three 
2022 tab. Yes. So this is a tab stops can be used as an alternative means to tables and columns at the same time. So that's tab stops in a nutshell, students. Thank you for watching.